Four years of Don't Tell the Bride. 32 Brave Brides. I'm gonna get it wrong. Three weeks. Three weeks. Oh, sweet Jesus. 32 Game On Grooms. For sure, it's my wedding, isn't it? <laughs> and dozens of disasters. I'm gonna fucking tell them. I'm not going in there. I'm just not going in there. What the fuck? Now we're back for a brand new series. I'm getting married in the morning. As six more blushing brides leave the biggest day of their lives in the hands of the men they love. I'm gonna fuck this up. The groom gets 10,000 euros and three weeks. The bride gets no say in how it's spent. So saddle up for tears, tantrums, and total meltdowns. Tonight, born entertainer Richie wants his wedding to be the greatest show on earth. I'm getting married in the morning. This is exactly what I was picturing, lad. It's brilliant. The groom is a real wheeler dealer. He used to sell everything from fireworks to dodgy VCRs. They're all just crap deals. <laughs> and this stale boy wants to celebrate his wedding like nobody else. I want to give her an absolutely epic wedding that she'll always remember. But Bride Amanda just wants a special day that's classy and sophisticated. Roll up, roll up. There's a circus coming to town. Can Richie win his bride over with a circus wedding in a field? Amanda will absolutely hate this. And a wedding dress designed by the groom. Can this man really give this woman her dream wedding? Oh, it's beautiful. Get ready to rock as this party reaches new highs. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> and sinks to new lows. I'm gonna fuck this up. Twenty-seven-year-old hairdresser Amanda has just made one of the most important decisions of her life to let her fiance Richie organise their wedding. My plan is not to really think about what's going on. It's just to kind of hope for the best. I'm not really going to think too much into it because I think if I think too much into it, I probably will be panicking. Both born and raised in Donnemead in Dublin, when they first got together, he was 21 and she was just 16. I actually fancied your friend before you. That's right, yeah. He rejected you, so. <laughs> it was the day our 16th birthday. Yeah. I asked you to come outside for a birthday kiss. She had a great ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, we just couldn't help it. We fell madly in love with each other and then just kind yeah. of drifted apart as the relationship went on. Yeah. You started getting more mature and realising that like you didn't want to be with me. <laughs> they spent four years apart until this relationship received some much needed parental guidance. My mum was like, just give him a chance, you know, who knows what's going to happen. So, went on a day and then three weeks later I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> All good. <laughs> she gets a nervous laughter every now and again. It would be like the giggles from being stoned, but without being stoned. <laughs> okay, go be stoned now. <laughs> Richie's a wild one. <laughs> He's real wild with his ideas. He's very close to be centre of attention. Amanda's a uh, real quiet. He thinks everything true and like keeps the tables grounded, basically. Richie is a show off who loves any chance to perform. Hey, he's there when he's lost. Yeah. What are you trying to find? Can you help me? Yeah, no worries. No matter who, who we're with or what, where we are, he always has to try and make friends with someone or get involved in what they're doing. Where are you from? Uruguay. 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 Oh, brilliant. Suarez. Suarez. Don't point me. <laughs> I want to give her an absolutely epic wedding that she'll always remember. But Amanda just wants a wedding that shows that Richie really knows his bride to be. I could be doing acrobats for all I know. And that is like my biggest fear. Who knows what's going to happen on the day? Today is little Noah's first birthday. Ah, hell yes. Welcome to the party. The party is Amanda's first chance to see Richie's party organising skills in action. All right, kids, let's get ready to party. Richie can be a bit like a child's toy with the instructions missing. It's a child's party, Richie. <laughs> so Amanda's family will be keeping a close eye. I'm a little bit fiery at myself at times, but eh? He knows me. Once he looks at her, we're all happy. That's the main thing. Big wave, everyone. Oh, you think it was his birthday? Yeah, definitely it was his birthday party. 
but he just loves that. He just loves all the attention. <laughs> he may have pulled off a one-year-old's birthday party, but now he faces a much bigger challenge. Let her down, and you've got me to face. <laughs> It'll be entertaining. <laughs> It'll be different if it's you, anyway. It's going to be different. I just wanted to say, I know she's easy to please. That's why she's coming over you. <laughs> Today, Amanda and Noah move out for three weeks. But before the madness begins, they share a moment to look back over a few precious memories. Oh, that was Spain, wasn't it? I think that was the day I got my nipple pierced. Are you going to miss that, babe? Uh, yeah. <laughs> And a chance for Richie to avail of Amanda's free grooming services. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have miracle grow. It's sad saying goodbye to Amanda and little man, because I've just realised that he might start walking over the three weeks, and that that would be yeah, that'd be really tough. Yeah. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be tough because bye bye. I might fuck it up without her, <laughs> and then I'd be rightly in the shit. I miss right. you over in three weeks. Miss you yeah. too. Take care of yourself, right? Take care. I'll see you soon. Love you. Do good. Next time they meet, it will be the most important day of their lives. It really just hits home now that like she's actually gone for three weeks. And uh, parts of me is upset and sad about it, but then um, I'm not going to lie, part of me wants to go out and drink. <laughs> I got this. With Amanda gone, Richie soon assembles his gang of mates, the Jolly Boys. The thing I'm most looking forward to would probably be the stag deal, because I wouldn't know what the lads will have in mind for me. And um, organising the wedding, pretty much. Like, we'll get to, get to actually plan a wedding. How many blokes get to say that? So no tears? No, no tears. I did give him a warning, but I better be good on the day. Otherwise, <laughs> I won't be coming. <laughs> Once he gets the dress right. That's it. And the, the dress and the venue. And the food. <laughs> and the girl. <laughs> the biggest challenge for this would be the dress. It would be like, mm -hmm. so pfft. up a bit. And then <laughs> with something across, over. To go over the shoulders. Definitely wouldn't be white. I, I can definitely see it. I'm definitely gonna mess up our red dress. <laughs> From now on, Richie will rely on his best man, Baker. They've known each other their whole lives, growing up just two doors apart. And Baker knows that his main task may be to save Richie from himself. So the main reason I'm doing this is for uh, Amanda's sake, really. Kind of a damage control exercise, really. Richie's comes up with these crazy ideas all the time, but hopefully just you know, ignore him and we forget about it. But uh, oh, that God knows what he's got in store for this poor girl. So Richie, what you got planned? Right, I gotta think it's weird. I'm picturing the carnival team. Carnival? Yeah. Like fire breeders, lion tamers, whatever we can lion get. Lion tamers, yeah. Oh man, the whole works. Carn carny folk, games and stuff around. Yeah, she won't like that at all. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. She, she, I reckon she might really enjoy this. Baker may be the voice of reason, but Richie has a gift of being able to ignore advice he doesn't like. So it's off in search of a location fit for a carnival wedding. Whatever that is. Richie's first port of call is the Station House Hotel in Kilmessen, County Mead, where Richie gets very excited about their wooded garden. This is it. Like, this, this is exactly what I was picturing, lads. This is exactly it. Like, can you imagine, like, big bright balloons, carnival balloons everywhere. It's brilliant. It's epic. It's exactly it. Bloody found it. Yes. My mind is going mad with ideas now because I really see a lot of good stuff here. But the good stuff comes at a price. All in, you're looking at 45 euros ahead. Okay. Right. How many people are you thinking of? I was thinking in around about 400. 400, so that's about 18,000. Ouch. Okay. I do have another option for you. Clap. It is a little. Bizarre. Yeah, and so stand I like just, it already. I just think you're the man that will love it. Bring it on. OK. 
today. Here we have it. Fortunately, if there's one thing Richie has, it's a very vivid imagination. You know what? I think I'm saying what you're saying. We could have the reception now here. I'm liking his ideas, I'm liking that like he, he seems to be thinking outside the box just like me. And he, he's got big ideas for it. Think about it. Marquee. Entertainment going on everywhere. Roll up, roll up. There's a circus coming to town. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, he started with a carnival team. Now he's full-blown circus. I think Richie has to move the run of himself. He brought me down to look at the field because he's going to organise a music festival or a wedding. And over a fact, Amanda hates Portalos. Hates it. Amanda will absolutely hate this. Completely and utterly hate this. If I have to get Portalos, I'm going to have to make sure that they're fancy Portalos. She will kill him. Stone dead. But Amanda, her mother Catherine, and sister Emma have different ideas for the perfect wedding ceremony. For a the start, they're thinking of somewhere more indoors, like the luxurious Seafield Hotel in County Wexford. Oh, wow. Isn't it gorgeous? I like it. That's fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> oh, wouldn't this be so romantic for your first dance? Oh. Romance. Yeah, romance, I know. <laughs> oh, but you have to give it a little bit of romance. You do. It's your wedding day, you have to. Top oh. table, eh? Hey? Top table. So, what I'd really love is something kind of stylish, a bit of fun. You know, elegant and classy still at the same time, and this is kind of what it is. Cheers! Can Richie pull something like this out of the bag? And who knows what could happen? I could be in a field in a few weeks. <laughs> no one him. I am a lot more grown up than Richie. Richie has always been the messer. He's always the one who's. You'd never think if, if you didn't know Richie's age, you'd never think he was 32. Because he, he might look it, but he doesn't act it. He's always going to be a kid at heart. Today, Amanda's big kid and best man, Baker, are off to buy the perfect wedding dress. It's a tall order, considering even Amanda has no idea what she wants. You oh, must yeah. have some kind of idea of what you want. Uh, no idea. Yeah. Do you want a boob tube? Do you want a, neck, a v neck? Do you want uh, a long I don't know, yeah. Her mum's main concern is that the dress accommodates Amanda's most prominent feature. I just hope that Richie remembers, like, you've got big boobs, so he has to try to <laughs> come down like that. Oh, he remembers, all right. Right, so something with a lot of boob. <laughs> What's more important, boob or classy? Boob. <laughs> <laughs> Richie and Baker may not be thinking classy, but Amanda definitely is. Something like this is very nice as well. Yeah, actually, like look at that. underneath, and the back is gorgeous. The best thing to do is try on different yeah, sides, and then you can narrow it down as well. Okay, that's fine. Richie should know Amanda well enough to find a dress that reflects her shape, taste, and personality. Don't think Amanda's gonna like any of the outfits I pick. I swear, well, if he gets around, I don't know what I'll do. I'll kill him. I'm excited in one way, but then I'm yeah, terrified in another. Fortunately, Richie has come prepared. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's, that's fat. Real. Oh, that's that is gorgeous. Oh, that really is. Little, oh, I see the V-neck. That is gorgeous, on you? That's really that kind of keeps me covered. Yeah, yeah. As, since my mm. chest has been the talk of the whole thing, <laughs> like you know, it's kind of covering it. I'm actually, sh I'm actually color. shocked. It's absolutely gorgeous, on you? Amanda has gone for a simple fitted white gown with an elegant train. Richie is going for the first thing to hand. Yes, that could work. Did you put the pins out? Did you do the dishes? No. Da da! The hips don't fly. Up on your box, dear. As soon as I seen it, I was like, oh, I think that's the dress that Amanda would look amazing. In. I'd be really disappointed if she didn't love it. My mummy would be so proud. Would you, yeah? Would she actually really be proud if she saw you in a wedding dress like that? Richie had a lot of fun buying the dress, but he's not the one that has to walk down the aisle in it. I'm very nervous now about the dress, especially because everyone's going to be looking at me in it. So if it's not nice and it doesn't suit me, I'm going to look ridiculous walking down the aisle. So you better get my dress right, because he will ruin my day if he doesn't. Thank you so much You're for making welcome. my dreams come true. <laughs> I always wanted to look pretty in white. And you really do. Thank you. <laughs> it's ivory, by the way. Oh, it's ivory? Yeah. Brilliant. Disaster has struck. 
Richie can't afford to bring the circus to his field. So now, he and Baker must travel to see Fawcett Circus in Westport to find out where they will be on the day of the wedding. You're just reading that for the articles? Oh yeah, of course I am, yeah. You're kind of talking a bit girly on this whole thing, ain't you? Oh, it's hard not to. I hear you banging on about weddings for the last couple of weeks. Be a bit more of a best man, not a fucking bridesmaid. Like I said, <laughs> see how much of a best man I am on the stag. <laughs> now you've got me nerves. If your dreams don't scare you, your dreams aren't big enough. This doesn't sound good. So think big and it might work out perfectly. Most boys dream of running away with the circus. Richie dreams of getting married in one. Oh, you must be Robert. It's me. How are you doing? You're the main man, Robert oh, Foster, yeah? yeah? I'm planning on having a wedding, right? So I hear. It's in two weeks' time. <laughs> Who better to go there than the number one circus? OK. You know? I'm not going to argue with that. So it'll be stuff like that. Stuff like that. Exactly. Just, just, just happening during the meal. Just happening during the meal, like, to have people at the edge of their seats. Oh, OK. Bit of entertainment for them. All right. How does that sound? Well, sound I like think we can do something about that, yeah. Right, so the wedding's going to be around about here, sir. The thing about circuses is they travel about a lot. Right, well, we're over here. Yeah. And then we're going to be over here on your day. The wedding will be in County Me on the same day that the circus will be in County Loud. Nah. Now it's just getting people from there to there. He's having a bus of his, his family and guests around. As in his classic rich, he just put everyone onto a bus, bring them halfway around the country following a circus. I'm definitely glad Amanda's not here because uh, she should definitely be against this idea. Totally. I am a bit worried that she'll want to uh, just walk, but I'm hoping she won't. I'm praying she won't. I'm waking up in cold sweats at night. Thinking, I'm gonna fuck this up. Still, you have to admire a man who knows he's gonna screw up and goes ahead anyway. With Richie buzzing about from coast to coast, Amanda has plenty of time on her hands to worry. I'm nervous. Who knows when this big day is gonna come along? I'm excited and nervous to see everything together, but it is also a bit nail biting that like I don't know what I'm doing or like where I'm going or. When I talk about it, I get a bit... If people are asking me questions about it, I get a bit, OK, I'm getting a bit, OK, what's he going to do? It's going in my head. What, who is he going to bring there? Like, what's marrying us? Where are we getting married? What, what am I going to wear? What's he going to wear? What's Emma going to wear? It's like, oh, what's Noah going to wear? I'm like, what's, what are we all going to look like on the day? Back in Dublin, Richie has decided to get some special alterations done to the wedding dress. He's been inspired by his visit to the Big Top. The circus, that is, not Amanda's. So what I was thinking, right, was a few candy strips. My big fear is my dress. He's going to make me walk down in some sort of, like, multicoloured dress or who knows, I could have clowns hanging out of my dress for all I know. We've kind of got this circus thing, mm -hmm. right, so... I'm liking this one more, I can tell. <laughs> it's interesting, Richie. <laughs> now I'm just thinking I'm not the man gonna mess with it. I'm like, I'm... Oh, what, what was I thinking? What I was after was a bit of elegance into it. Mm. And now it just looks like a circus tent on acid. It is a circus thing, Ferris. <laughs> and I just really think I'm in over my head now. God. Today, Amanda's sister Emma is about to see the bridesmaid's dress that Richie designed and paid for without any input from her. I get along with Richie, but we clash. And like, he'd do childish things, and they'd just like get to me. I do not trust Richie at all. I don't know what it's like. Um, I'm terrified that he's gonna make me like wear a big meringue dress. She's very fiery. Very hot-headed. Richie should be more worried about Emma more than me because Emma would kick his ass, basically, if he doesn't do anything right. How are you? Hi. You looking forward to it? No. No? No. It'll be grand. 
Let's hope she likes it, because with the wedding less than a week away, there's no time to get another one. Hey, that's not too bad. Richie, this is like really out there, but I don't mind because I'm only the bridesmaid. But like, if you get a man this dress well, then there's going to be like, hell's going to break loose. Like, you're going to have to deal with a man and all of us, and it's not going to be good. This is really out there, like, so if anything, if her dress is anything like this, she won't wear it. Okay, well, we'll just have to wait and see. It won't be long until we're wed, a day till now that's in my head. I hope you like what's in store or I'll be knocked out on the floor. But if I'm not, it will be great as I can't wait to see you on this date. I'm not writing a poem for Amanda to let her know the date. I didn't think I'd miss out this much. I thought that like, oh yeah, three weeks away before uh, we get married, great. I'll have a laugh, It'll be like a three week stag do. I've had a lot of fun, don't get me wrong. I've had a lot of fun, but I just miss Amanda and now I've been around. Just little things like milk and stuff in the fridge. How sweet. Richie misses his bride to be every time he runs out of milk. It's nice to kind of just, you know, to have like a day, a set day that we know what's going on. With just days to go, Richie urgently needs to let Amanda know the date of her own wedding. Amanda! Hi. Yeah. He's organised a circus-inspired wedding invitation by special delivery. Oh my God. Oh my God, what does that sound like? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, it's a jack-in-the-box. Well, actually, it's Richie's mate, Stuart. And he got the job because he was the only one small enough to fit in the box. To <laughs> 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 Amanda, it won't be long until we're wed. The date till now was in my head. The date is 14th of October. Oh, I know, it's date now. <laughs> so on the last day we meet again, I miss you, babe, and our little gem. <laughs> 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 the little fucker, like, he knew very well what my reaction would be. He knew if someone dumped out at me, I'm going to cry because I'm, like, a scaredy cat. Ah, <laughs> you'd be all right. You'd be grand. Well, so now we have a date. The 14th. I think it's Tuesday. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it is Tuesday, yeah. <laughs> Tuesday, oh, my God. Richie is going all out for his circus-themed wedding. Noodles. But now it's time for him to do a balancing act of his own with the budget. Let's talk up what we've got so far, right? 2,500. Yeah. So, uh, 440. Yeah, have that. 370. Uh, 1,300. One second. Uh, 9,765 euro. Right. Bollocks. <laughs> 236 euro for, and have to get drink for 150 people. So, one pound, or well, one euro fifty per person. Right, so it's a can. You, you can't drag them halfway around the country and then give them one can. I'm aware of that, okay? And um, it's. What will we do, buddy? Noodles is staying out of this one. What are we gonna do? Shit. We've tied up the figures. We're running a lot higher than we thought we were. So, er. Uh, in order to make up some money, looks like the hen party is going to be affected. It is a toss up between drink for the wedding or drink for the hens. And in fairness, the wedding's more important. So fuck them, they can get their own drink. I stress it now, but I don't feel sorry for my dog. Deserves everything he gets, really. Got himself into this. To get himself out of it. Funny how cutting back on the hen doesn't necessarily mean cutting back on the stag. With the wedding just three days away, it's all aboard the booze bus. And unlike the wedding guests, the lads have more than one can each. No way I'm actually letting one go out of my head. See the way he downed that, that can? 40 seconds of front. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls have to settle for a cup of tea. Do you send any drink for any of us? No. Oh, no. Cheap ass. Uh, <laughs> yes. I can guarantee you Richie's not sitting around like drinking tea. If I put money on Richie's probably mm, 
Probably nearly getting sick probably by now. He, he's not very good at drinking. He thinks he's a breast drinker. <laughs> but uh, he'll probably be puking his gut and then start again. Yeah. Right no. on cue. Get sick! Hey, yeah. <laughs> I think you may have a drink The girls are en route to what they hope is an exotic mystery hen party location. Let's hope you put some money aside for booze. That's the most important thing. You probably have. But the only girl is for his booze. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have all with them on the snag and left us with He's drinking the kitty right now. He is drank and dry. The girls are en route to what they hope is an exotic mystery hen party. While the lads hit the beer, the girls are in for something a little more strenuous. This is crazy! <laughs> Welcome girls, Richie has booked you in for two hours of aerial dance. <laughs> When we arrived here and we were walking up the stairs, I was like, what the hell has he got us to do? I actually was going to refuse to do it. It's not particularly dignified for the hang life, but, you know, it's a lot of fun. So, like, we're having great fun doing it. Very good. Bring one leg out. Jeez, you've never seen come if you think I can do that. <laughs> Is this your key? Oh, please. Did you see you in that position? Upside down. Legs out. <laughs> I hope Richie doesn't think I'll be using these skills in the bedroom because it won't be happening. <laughs> Meanwhile, boys will be boys, and as the stag enters its next phase, men will be clowns. And once again, Richie found enough money in the budget for the boys to have their toys. Still so great he is in first place, and he nearly went over. The winner of your Grand Prix is David. Yeah! They're definitely looking over my shoulder the whole time. They're, uh, they've definitely got something planned that I'm probably not going to be happy with, but oh well. I'm not scared about what's the stars tonight. Richie should be up. And as night falls, the girls decide to make their own fun. Give a man enough beer and it's bound to happen. Finally, the girls realise that if they want to have a drink tonight, they'll have to buy it themselves. There's no need to make a dick of himself, but Richie's going to do it anyway. Deserve all this shit. Amanda, I love you. I know I'm a bit of a dick. But hey, that's why you love me, isn't it, baby? Yeah. <laughs> that was so sweet. <laughs> the wedding is tomorrow. Richie has to organise an outdoor ceremony and a reception in a circus tent in another county. But he's been a little distracted over the past 48 hours. It's my birthday. I'm going to be on a two day bender. I feel like everything's just getting there too quick and I feel like I'm running out of time. If Richie and Amanda are really getting married tomorrow, then Richie needs to shake off his hangover. Perhaps a message from his little boy Noah might help. To the best daddy in the world, daddy you're the greatest, you really are the tops. And this is sent to tell you that you're loved lots and lots. Happy birthday, love Noah. It's hard being away from mummy birthday. But the budget is running dry. We're down to our last 500. Time to stock the bar for the big day. Yeah, a lot of gargling. Let's hope there's a few special offers on. 950. 
Yeah, that's her four. So, 13 quid for eight there. Go for you, so yeah, we're going to go for you. Oh, okay, how many we get? 146 quid already in the trolley. 146 already. Oh. 200 and something? No. Right, what's that up there? 422. Richie, you know all of them. You know most of them. They won't stop drinking. Yeah. We're proper screwed. We are screwed. My number one concern right now is not being a fucking cheap ass with a fucking cheap drink. So we get the lads to bring their own. Yeah, we spread it around. Yeah, spread bring it around. Gargle. Well, you play it around, but get people to bring their own as well. Yeah. <laughs> it went with no drink, what the fuck? Yeah. It's not an Irish wedding. Do we need tea bags? In case everyone's want a cup of tea? Tea bags? <laughs> Forget about the tea bags. Right, tea bags are gone. They bring their own. Yeah, we need soaps for hands. Soap. There right, are so, some essentials uh, that can't be cut back on, given the bride's hatred of port -a-loos. That smells worse than Jack's. With Richie busy testing the underarm fragrances, yep. across town, Amanda is about to see the dress she'll be wearing tomorrow. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous to see it. Like, this is obviously the big day of my dress. Everyone's going to see me in it. So I'm a bit like, whoo, a bit nervous about the whole thing. Richie was impressed when he tried the dress on. Let's hope it looks just as nice on the bride. OK, Amanda, sorry, I'm going to have to put this little blindfold on you now. Yeah. If it is a total fuck up, it's not like I can change it. But it is only 24 hours away. I could end up wearing this for all I know. This is such a big deal. It really is. Oh, my God. OK, I hope he gets it right. I hope he gets it right. She's not going anywhere. She won't wear it. No. <sighs> I guess it's because I did not. The dress has been altered to Richie's circus-style specifications, so changing it is not an option. Okay, I'm gonna take it off. Yeah, okay? go. Oh, wow! Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, wow! It's amazing, isn't it? It is, okay. I'm surprised, Adam! Oh, he got it right, Amanda. He got it right. He was so filled up. You look stunning. You really look stunning. He got it right. Perfect. Hang on. I would never pick something like this myself. He did a really good job, so I'm totally chuffed on what he picked. I'm glad the V-neck is kind of there. <laughs> <laughs> Easy now, Richie designed this for like the bad boys. Made <laughs> sure you could see some of them. <laughs> oh, he's after getting you a veil. Oh. I was like, oh my god, no. I just, because they just overpower you. I didn't really think I'd ever wear one or even have one on my head, let alone anything else. So I was like, a bit shocked over that. It actually is lovely with the whole dress, the whole thing. Well, I probably will take it off after the ceremony. Sorry. <laughs> Richie now has a very delicate operation on his hands. He's made the journey to his reception venue in Dundalk to deliver a cake that was custom made to a rather tall and fragile design. Jeez. <laughs> the bit came off here, don't do this there. Don't do it too much. Richie, Richie. Yeah, I have to do it. You don't, leave it. You need to stop doing that right now. I need to fix it, because otherwise it would have fallen off of it during the night. There, grand, perfect. The circus was open to the public tonight, and Richie had to wait until the show was over before setting up for tomorrow's wedding reception. Uh, there's not always to be a bit of a woman about it, but uh, see them stones. People are going to be coming in high heels. Look at that. Imagine your mask on there. Well, what if we go around like this now and just get rid of all the stones? Tonight, this venue may have been an exotic circus, but there are still telltale signs that by day, it's a car park in Dundalk. Um, yeah, that's gonna take on me. Yeah. Leave it, they'll be grand. If they twist an ankle, they can sue you. <laughs> People are really gonna be probably angry about the stones, the lack of drink. I, I don't care what anybody thinks, only Amanda. Lovely. Her and Noah are the only ones I wanna make happy. And um, I'm hoping this is what will make her happy. Um, I just want to ha let, let her have fun. I want her to have as much fun as possible. And that's what 
tomorrow is all about is basically just enjoying our life with each other and letting people just celebrate it with us and have a great party with us. Outside, the Jolly Boys have a surprise for him. Is this all here? Oh. Or... Ah. Ah. Ray, ah. Ah. Ah, you bitch. Lads. He's got a wedding to attend. Lads. <laughs> they wouldn't leave him there. Come on, lads, we're getting married in the morning. Would they? Play go! Fuck's sake. Where are these dresses? It's the morning of the wedding. And while Amanda looks forward to the biggest day of her life, Richie is a whole county away, putting some finishing touches to the circus tent. Leons. Richie knows Amanda is fussy about her ablutions and has summoned Baker for an early morning game of Pimp My Portaloo. Oh, there's a big giant clown shite in here. That's a hard one done, the men's one's done. The women's one should be easy. Right, Baker, you're gonna have to go in there and put all the fucking air fresheners in and around on gut. It's gonna be brown. You go in there. That's wrong. Like, that is wrong. Just open these and throw them in with hand grenades, will we? It's the only way we can. Fuck me. And Amanda, how are you feeling this morning? Um, I'm okay. As long as it's indoors, I don't mind. I'm looking forward to Richie taking out my hands. Oh, yeah, nice. that's why I'll be crying. Crying with happiness. Say. Next, a last minute touch to give the ceremony a sacred, special feel. Balloons. No. There's a few less to worry about. Let's see if we can close that. Right, Bakes, it's uh, 5 to 12. Right, so we gotta get in an hour. Calm right. down, I have balloons right. there. I am freaking out a bit, yeah. Come on, Willis, we've a wedding to go there. Come on, hurry up. It's absolutely fabulous. Thank you. You look fantastic. Thank you. Too. You look fantastic. Absolutely. Fabulous. Thank you. Oh, it's beautiful. You look fantastic, Bodies. Oh. Oh. Follow me, man. The reception may be in would you stop pulling them? Relax. Go over there, breathe. Take 10 seconds and breathe. Ah, he's panicking. He's trying to do five or six different things at once. Making the balls of all the... Richie is running out of time. <laughs> but this bride is ready to go. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, God. Careful! Look at his neighbours there, no? The nerves are going to be even worse than they are already. Yeah, well, there you are, Look at me, I'm shaking. Jesus! And after three weeks of intense pressure, the lads pause for a romantic moment. Baker, love you, man. Thanks a lot for all the help, man. No problem. It's been fucking emotional. The bridal party need to get to the ceremony, but Richie's only sent one car. Right, how are you getting there? Uh, uh, is not, is a he not, not a car for us? No, I don't think so. I think there's only one car. You may have to yeah. take your own car. Well, I'm going to have to take the car seat out of the other car and put I it into... I can't believe you didn't think of that. Oh, for God's sake. Letting her make her own way to the ceremony probably isn't the best way to endear yourself to your new mother-in-law. Bye. Oblivious to their plight, the lads are ready to go. The minute or two beforehand. Breathe. Let's do this, lads. Amanda's worst fears are starting to come true. This is all I can see around us, like green fields everywhere. Oh my god! It's outside! 
Now I'm nervous. Wow. Fabulous. This is not what I expected. Absolutely. It looks cool from what I can see. Are we ready to go? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. ready to go, yeah. I don't know if I am. <laughs> You'll be great. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the bride. The stars align most every time when lonely After the longest three weeks of their lives, Richie and Amanda are back together. Aim your crossbow at the rainbow. Let your courtship not end with your honeymoon, but continue through all your years. Your marriage will be a great journey of surprises, joys, and miracles. Richard, do you take Amanda in marriage to be your wedded wife? Do you share your life as your friend, your lover, your companion? I do. And do you, Amanda, take Richard in marriage to be your wedded husband? I do. I now declare them to be husband and wife. And kiss your bride. I love it. I really love it. Good, good. So you did a good job. Very good job. <laughs> Richie pulled off a magical fairy tale wedding in the forest. Now to see if it has a happy ending. Can you all make the way towards the bus? I thought we were having a hotel. Yeah, no. Some brides expect a limo. But why bother with all that when Amanda's dad, Noel, is a bus driver? He drove up here in a lovely car, had ribbons on it, nice and comfortable, air conditioning, water and all in the car. And now we're stuck on a Dublin bus, everyone's sweating beside you. Lovely. The horn on the bus goes peep, peep, peep. The good news is that the journey to Dundalk is just an hour by car. The bad news is it's two hours by bus. Well, this is nice. And all I've done now so far is sit in my wedding dress, going around on a mystery tour for some. Like, it was in my day too. I mean, we can't even have a drink yet. I know. Look, look. Right. See it over there? No, I can't see it. Look, it's right there, right? I'm standing over thing now. <laughs> I kind of have a bit of a shock and I don't know how to take it. It's lovely. So I'm like, it's actually the first time. Stop shaking. I was just on my wits end when I turned the corner and seeing this <laughs> behind me a circus. I still can't get my head around it, but I have a circus for my wedding. <laughs> there we go, slushy machine. <laughs> <laughs> slushy machine. <laughs> Where's the alcohol? <laughs> Is that all we have? 
Det er smart, kom. Det er sånn at jeg snakker om Jimmy. Jeg liker alle. Det er mange mennesker som sier «Bring your own». «Bring your own»? «Bring your own»? «Bring your own»? «Oh, Gud. Vi må høre det her nå.» Hun er ikke imponert av bar, men kanskje hun skal bli blått av Richie's pride og joy. Portaloos. Min favorite ting. Well, you can go in there. I'm just gonna go in here, right? How do you think of a bed? Um, they're portaloos. Yeah, but they're nice portaloos. <laughs> On my wedding day, you have me standing here in a portaloo in my wedding dress. I don't have a second. Yeah. There's one more thing I need to do. I like getting in there. Yeah. No way. Yeah, I like getting in there. Yeah, get in there. No way. Really, really, really. Make yourself comfy. Get comfy. Yeah. Are you ready? Come here. Right. I hate you. I know you do. I'll be back in a minute. Oh god. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> When I saw Richie on the horseback, I said, yep, there's the biggest cowboy you ever. And then when I looked up and I saw an angel coming from heaven, that was my daughter. Absolutely amazing, took my breath away. If you've got to get a car for me and Emma. <laughs> I have to say, oh, I had to pull him up on that one, actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, the last few weeks, I've put years on me, really. Stress levels have gone through the roof. Trying to keep him under control, trying to shut him up sometimes is hard. Just wanted to give him a dig sometimes. So this whole wedding has been something that I would never have thought that I would plan or anything that I would ever like. You had me swinging from the rafters like some sort of like gypsy. It's been a, an absolutely fantastic three weeks. I have missed her a lot, but for the outcome of it all, it's been totally worth it. And uh, I do it all again in a heartbeat. <laughs> and I try and scare her. Would you? I wouldn't do it again. <laughs>